Oopsies, it's me, Tony Bomboni ASMR. Welcome back to your video. So before this begins, if you could just tap that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And when you do, you click all notifications. That way you get notified of new vids from me every day as I upload daily to help support my daily journey to upload every day on this platform. Check out my website, TonyBomboni.com. That's Tony. other services, please check out my ASMR albums as well, okay, alright, so I can't wait to see you guys there, so let's begin, <laughs> um, I'm not really sure if I want to do it in like a pick A format, <laughs> I'm just kind of more doing this as like intuitive work, reading, like a general reading for you guys, if you would like to only pick what you're drawn, feel free, but it's not a must. Feel free to watch both. So I'm gonna use this white candle bowl and then this coffee cup. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna start with the candle while the coffee marinates. So this one kind of snapped. <laughs> I ordered a new box, but I, I kind of want to use this so it's not so let's begin this reading for you. Anything we need to know right now? Anything that's going on in your life? Okay, I think there's some people from the Great Britain that automatically look like it to me. Uh, I see like a bird's ear, like parrots. Someone in the Great Britain may be having <laughs> parrots that they're looking out for. That kind of looks like chickens or birds as well. Uh, but the resemblance is uncanny. It literally looks like parrots. Um, okay, there's a lot going on. There's two disputing birds. Like, it looks like arguing. That could mean you and your best friend. Someone really like in a dispute, in a conflict with each other, and it's not been going too hot, it's not going too pretty. Someone backstabbing, someone really also could be like a, a, a romantic partner, uh, but it's funneling your energy. Okay, um, maybe they're from the Great Britain, maybe they're you know British, maybe they're relatives there or they go visit there <coughs> so I wouldn't be surprised um, okay enough about that let's move on so I think this friendship meant meant a lot to you and vice versa it meant a lot to this person to be friends with you and so now that things are kind of disruptive it's like where does it go from here what are we gonna do there's too much attachment, there's too many knots tangled here with this person, so maybe it's time to, it's hard to, I would say, to let them go temporary because there's so much involvement. It's like almost like a love-hate relationship with this person, um, and you just cannot seem to let them go. So I don't know if I really necessarily have any advice for that. It's becoming harder to see exactly what you need to do. I think that's how you feel, is what I'm trying to say. It's becoming harder to see what you should, you should do with this person. Because <sighs> they're so on and off. Maybe they have some mental health crises or stuff they need to go through and experience. And you're trying to be there for them through that these issues. But you, you're like, okay... How much longer can I take? How much longer can I do this, you know? It's keeping you up at night and you're feeling like left out. You're feeling maybe, maybe a little betrayed by 
this person. There's others for you, but this door needs to close first. <clears throat> so you can't move on to someone new until this door closes first. Um, yeah, I'm feeling your frustration all the way here. It sort of feels like another one. Like this is just another one that she south, basically. And you don't want it to feel this way because you thought you had that special connection at one point, but... And it truly is a special connection, but if you're willing to put up with their issues, they're just having so many issues to deal with right now. Unfortunately. It's putting a lot of stress on you. Straining your relationship. I see you're just trying to basically go through things with them, but it's not working. It's not functioning the way you would desire or anticipate it to be. That other person is very, very close to you. They're either very close to you already or they're on their way to your life very, very soon, but you have to make a choice what to do with this person. You can't spend too much time with one person and then too much time with another. You just don't have the time in the day. So you're going to have to pick and choose who your next new bestie is, basically, is what I'm trying to say, because they're coming, whether you like it or not. They're coming. And a lot of times when we get rid of these old energies, new energies come back. And usually you notice those people who, like, still hang out, hang on to these old energies, they tend to continue attracting friends, old exes, because they're still stuck and hanging on to those old lessons. They're still in the karmic wheel. They're still in the heavy, dense, earthly plane. And the people who are more light, lighter, high vibration, are, you know, always moving on to other opportunities, new people, right? Like, they're, they've, they don't need to keep going through the same people, you know? Like, they don't need to keep holding on to those energies. intuitively, uh, and it was the last candle. I just wanted to get rid of this one, honestly. So there's a reason for that. There's a reason I picked this candle. It's like, uh, yeah, there's some dark darkness, as you see, dark wax in the reading, but like, no matter how much you try, you just can't seem to let this person go. I think they're very attached to you. I think they are very, um, <sighs> in maybe not so bright way, they're trying to hold on to you because they're afraid. They know that it's your time to let them go. And you want to be free. You want to move on. But they, they, they see the light within you. But they're scared what that light can deliver. Like, they know they could lose you with that light. So they need to find their inner light. You know? And we can encourage them to do so. But, you know, maybe you've already tried to do that. And everything has failed you. So this is where maybe, just maybe, it, even though it hurts, I know you holding on to the good memories. Maybe, just maybe, time to let this person. Bye-bye. And it may have to be something where, yeah, you almost, like, never see them ever again. Because, like, it's just going to bring up too much pain. So this was heavily around, revolved around this person. What else do we need to know? What else is going on? I'm going to have to hold it on like this because oh, wow, I'm like burning my finger. Gosh. Because this loose, stupid candle is broken. Let's see what we need to see. They won't get it. Again, it's like they just won't understand. Wait. They won't understand. Oh my god. What a mess. They won't understand what it is you need to experience in this lifetime, you know? They think they think he may be still holding on, like, oh, you know, past memories. Uh, either from childhood or just earlier years where you knew this person. That things are always 
always going to be this way. Things are always going to work out <sighs> in each other's favor. And that was almost symbolic, that candle turning off. Like, yeah, this is over. This is like a dead deal. It's done, so it's like finished, complete. There's no more to this storyline. You know, like those episodes, those series that like by season four, you're bored. Like it's worn out. It's overused. There's nothing more to see here. It's like finished, complete. Um, although it was a good, happy friendship at one point. Um, yeah, in a sense, try to remember the good memories. It's because that'll help you attract the good memories in this new per with this new person. So you don't want to just hold on and attach to that. Because that's not going to serve anyone any purpose, right? Even them, like, if anything, you can encourage them as a loving past friend. Like, hey, you know, just remember the good moments that we had together. You can find that with someone else and be at peace, right? And see, as soon as I say that, it's like it's almost getting better. The reading is more clear, more vivid now. It's uh, starting to... Give a better, broader message. See, now that we've got rid of the old, we're in with the new. Things becoming more clear. And once you say that, you're going to let it go. And then you're going to move on. And let this be, again, symbolic for that. Let this be releasing the old in with the new. So you can have new opportunity come through. And, uh, same mistake or pattern with someone, this new person. So this is like officially letting go of that stuff that you no longer need, which is beautiful. You're officially going to have moved on to bigger, brighter, better future. It's going to feel like a weight is just lifted off of you. feeling of that freedom you're going to feel after is going to be well worth it and you're not going to look back. You're not going to even think about it. You're not going to want to look back anymore. But something does need to be said first. They need to get the hint of how you feel, even if it makes them upset. I would tell them in person they need to maybe hear, but if you really think that's a bad idea, then you know, and that they'll be like going on a rampage, then you know what, just over text or something, because sometimes certain energies maybe it's not worth it, right? Like, you feel bad, you say like, oh, you know, I want to tell them in person, because after all these years, all this time with them, it's disrespectful. No, some people don't deserve even, honestly, that. Or they just won't get it. They'll just, you know, go on a rampage. So for your safety and stuff, just make sure you address what you need to address in whatever way you deem fit. Maybe half of you in person, the other half not. So again, who is this person? Maybe this is a future event <laughs> if it doesn't resonate. Maybe it brings up a past old event and just reminding you that you, oh, my burnt finger, that you, it's okay though, it doesn't hurt, it just charred that you um, did the right thing by overcoming these past energies. Okay. So now that that is out of the way, finally, we're going to move on to the coffee cup. I'm going to read the plate. Whoa. Okay, so... <sighs> since I used this plate. Someone's trying to overreach um, your boundaries, sort of like what you're comfortable with, what you're comfortable doing. I think they're pushing you to do something you don't want to do. They're pushing you to do something you're not comfortable with. Okay? And you just are not having it. You're like, I'm not about that life. I think Especially in the first few months of this year, you really did, <laughs> excuse me, you really did things that you were stretching yourself to do that. 
person, but I'm gonna say what I say. It depends on if you pick this and the candle reading, then maybe, maybe <sighs> could be the same person. Honestly, don't be surprised if they try to come back or someone similar tries to come back by the end of the year. Because they're lonely, they're bored, they're missing you. And at that case, please make sure you block them as on every platform possible because I don't see good energy from that. It's chaotic, it's disruptive. It's not going to be nice, it's not going to be pleasant. They're going to use you again, they're going to use you some more. Right? Is it really worth it? <laughs> to spend your time, energy, money, and resources on someone that's like... I'm sorry to say this, a loser, okay, a user, a loser, and an abuser, okay, it's not worth it, we all know those people, let them go, they're cowards, okay, that's all, nothing more to it, um, make sure you tap into your inner strength, so you don't have to feel tempted to reach back out, because, yeah, this person is, again, loser, user, abuser, so they're gonna wanna keep doing that with you, messing with your heart, uh, I think they come across as like that F boy or F girl. Do you know what I'm saying? Like those kind of people who are just wasting your time. Those people you see at the club that are just wanting a one night thing and just to take advantage of poor souls that are innocent. Um, you know, and so I would be very careful. Some of you are going to be very nicely dressed when you meet them. They're going to feel like impressed by you. You know, maybe they see you throwing that good tip at the bar at the restaurant. And then, you know, like having a good time with your friends. And then they're there to kill, steal, and destroy. They're like that wolf that is going to pounce on a pack of bunnies, right? Poor, innocent, sweet little baby bunnies. So be very careful of these vicious, malicious energies, especially now. Okay, they're gonna want to pick a bone with you. They're literally gonna want to pick a bone with you. Okay, after all is said and done, um, it's like you are the innocent one here. You're the victim here, and then they're still gonna want to like pick that bone with you. So it's like, okay, what did I do, right? What the heck did I do to even deserve this? So you know, maybe you want to have a conservative approach this coming month or two, right? Maybe you want to maybe not dress so nice. I know that sounds hilarious, but hear me out. Maybe you want to not look so impressive because sometimes you're going to draw in those energies that are going to see that about you. And, like, you better off sometimes wearing a sackcloth. I mean, like, literally a sackcloth, uh, just a bun in your hair, uh, no makeup, or, you know, just, like, nothing fancy. Do you know what I'm saying? Because... I'm telling you right now, uh, now's not the time to be looking flashy and adorned because, yeah, uh, even those people who you're trying to get, maybe they have a little extra money, I think they're just out for the kill, like they are out for, um, the metaphorical kill, like meaning they just wanna harvest their reward of what they, like any satisfy them in the quick spur of the moment like a drug right like like a vice like that's all they look at people as is just flash like a sexual creature like you know and nothing more they don't want to even have conversation so i don't see this as a good energy like coming through with this person so a lot of like with people you may not have the nicest experience the next month or two um okay so sorry to be bear of bad news here, but sometimes it happens, sometimes it comes through, uh, we're still gonna see if there's a positive message for you, cause, you know, I don't wanna just leave you in the dust, like, you know, <laughs> worrying about stuff like that, okay, <sighs> no, nothing more I need to see here, let's stop it there, so here is your coffee,
why not instead be happy with who you have in your life and even if it may not feel abundant just be so grateful that you have just that thing that person in your life that you know you amplify the feeling of being so content so happy within for having that that you don't attract these vultures these losers in your life that have nothing better to do with their time because they're so lacking in many departments okay uh and insecure all right which you definitely are not and uh you know i almost want to say i feel sorry for you that you have been through this because you know these people these losers literally are like i don't know what they see in you but there's something about you that um they really are drawn to like this light in you that you just i feel like oh my god again i, I just so feel your frustration here because you keep attracting these people that are so low level that you just it's like you almost don't even want to bother trying anymore you don't even want to bother stepping out that door and just trying anymore because there's so many low vultures that are trying to just take advantage of these poor people you know <sighs> I, I really am rooting for you here because yeah these people have nothing better to do they're trolls they're just pure vulturic trolls that are just so low and i'm normally not this nasty but they, these are some nasty energies that keep following you like i'm talking like, they give me even this stalker vibe, they give me this creepy vibe, they give me this vibe of like, ew, go away, like, you don't want to be associated or near these people because, yeah, so make sure you have your protection up before you even step out that door, so you don't attract these people that are trying to use you, like, that's all they're there, is just to use, and it's very sad that, and unfortunate that some people choose to live their life this way, but We all come for a reason, I guess, right? And it's it's almost like it's very hard to be, for me, even me to say in this message, to be very loving and kind to these people because they really are just simply taking advantage of so many people. They've, they've done that to so many people that I just don't even feel sorry for them. Like, they deserve everything that's coming to them because, yeah, they, they've hurt a lot of people's hearts. <sighs> sucks but yeah let's continue the message um and you can't just switch it you can't just not be yourself you know you can't just become the person that looks the other way ignores the problem or you know stops attracting these people you you can't because it's like there's something about you that the darkness is so drawn to that um because you have the light that they don't and um, protection all I see is just you really want to protect your energy now more than ever I keep seeing August, September even some into October and maybe not the best time to go out with the, the girls or the boys you know what I'm saying and be all flashy and be like you know tipping big cash like big amounts of cash you know like now's not the time to be seeking attention because you're going to get the wrong attention, okay? Like, maybe invite your friends over for coffee or something instead of it going out physically. Like, you know, maybe you need to fast from that. Maybe you just need to stop <laughs> going out so much and, and just keep to yourself for a minute because um, you end up getting yourself hard to hear. Like, yeah, there's something warning you here. Like, be kind of conservative. Be very, very to yourself this next month or two. I think it won't even be an issue because you're just kind of going to be in that vibe and mood, mood anyway. Uh, now that summer is ending and it's going to fall, it's like we're slowing down our energies. We're becoming more anxious. We're becoming more like a conserved to ourself cocoon, right? Now it's not the time to be butterfly and shiny and, you know, flashy. I would not. I would not. There's appropriate time of the year to do it. It's not now. I'm telling you. Again, consider it a positive message because it's trying to warn you and protect you. So, goggles. I see goggles here. Like, someone really um, protecting themselves and what they see, even. Maybe you meet someone that you're going to have to protect your eyes because I'm telling you, you will not.
not be happy with what you see in this person. You might find out something about them that is so ugly and so devastating. You're going to be like running for the hills, I'm telling you. Um, please, if you go out, spend time with others around you and make sure that they are even keeping a close eye on your drink. They're keeping a close eye on your food. especially if you have to run to the restroom. Um, there's just this force following you. That's why I say call upon your angels, call upon protect, your protection every day, even before you step out the door, you know, make sure you are in a high vibration. But like, um, okay, how do I say this? As high vibration as possible, because even if you're high vibration, again, that's the light that draws people in, so... That's what draws these suckers in, so I gotta say, um, be as high vibration as possible so you don't even attract them to begin with, right? But, ugh, dang, they're good. I mean, they're, they have a way of just finding these people like you, so I would say, don't talk to strangers. This is now the perfect time to follow that rule, okay? Uh, you're very trusting, I feel like, almost like in a sense, maybe you feel like you're gullible sometimes. Again, I'm not here to call you out. I'm here to call these low vibration energies out. I almost want to shoo them away with this reading. Like, you know, just kind of address them that they exist and that, you know, this... and sometimes it's hard to tell who this person is. They're very good. They're very sneaky and deceitful. But they're liars. One way you can tell who they are is they are liars. So when you catch them in a lie, that's how you know. Um, they're chronic, chronic liar. It's like an illness, right? Um, and that's just where they are at life. You know, we have to, I guess in a way, respect that that's the soul's journey. Some people are just in such a dark, low place because they have no love in their life. And maybe you feel bad and you want to give them that love, but I'm telling you that's only going to cause you personal pain. I wouldn't even go there. Um, just wish them, wish anyone well and move on. Uh, but don't be afraid to call them out on their negative ways because, yeah, that's not nice what they're doing. It's like a sinister. I see someone sit. Oh, it's just very creepy vibes. Oh my gosh, sinister smile. Like a. <sighs> I feel for you. I feel sorry actually that you had to probably go through this. Or again, this could be future. This could be present. This could be past. It's an open grab bag because it's not even a bigger reading. It's just like a. I'm reading into people, thousands of people, so it's like, obviously, you know, this is not gonna, if you want your custom reading, my website, of course, but this is just, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm just protecting someone in the future, I'm warning them so that nothing happens, like, yeah, it's coming through very, very strongly here, uh, they are not nice, and you want to, um, be able to protect yourself and your heart so that, no best approach with these people. Hello, goodbye. Don't just trust anyone who goes up to you like that because they're not to be trusted, okay? A random stranger that just goes up to you like that usually wants something, you know? It has to happen like a naturally, you know? It has to happen with just, you know, a natural occurrence, not something intentional. And you know, sometimes they be trying to bump into you randomly and pretend like you two were meant to meet, or they spill their drink on themselves, and, and, you know, they pretend to bump in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so fake. It's like a Lifetime movie. Like, oh my god, just roll your eyes and walk away. Like, yeah. Um, now's not the time to spend with those energies. Alright. Anyways, so, uh, maybe now's not the time to meet any new person for the matter, because, yeah, I don't, I don't see a good result from that. So, anyway, <laughs> sorry to be blunt. I had to, uh, spill the coffee. <laughs> um, yeah, but hey, the bright side is you're gonna be better off when you protect your energy, right? So, consider this good news instead of bad news.
Alright, there's always a positive to every reading, every message, everything we hear. So keep that in mind rather than being disappointed that something couldn't work out with someone. It's okay. Let it go. So this is why I say it feels like a different energy. Like this is a different person from the candle I saw. The candle was more someone who already knew or know. This is more someone new. Okay? Be careful. Especially once you let go of this person. Don't be surprised. This person coming through now. I know I said in the candle reading uh, that it's not going to be a repetitive pattern. That, but what I mean by that is it doesn't have to be. By protecting yourself, you're not going to come across and encounter this pattern of just toxic people in your life, right? Uh, you're still going to be tested just because you let go of a past person like this doesn't mean that they're not going to still come through in your life. That's life. It's going to happen. But you're being tested to see how you handle this, how you manage this, how much you fall for people like this because you think every, okay, we've all been there and done that, but we think sometimes that, you know, every instance we have with a new person is like, a Disney movie. Like, no, that's not reality. Okay, that's not life is not a joke. Life is not a movie like that, okay? There's actual people who are just really sick, like not in the right place in their head. So you want to like, understand and acknowledge who these people are so that you don't keep drawing them and sucking them into your life because there's a reason for that, okay? You're growing stronger. You're asked to protect your energy because you have to be there for yourself first and foremost um, so you don't allow these just any per random person to influence you and change you okay stand strong in who you are be confident in that and that's how you're going to protect your energy and just overall you're going to need to do things to protect your energy there's many ways to do it you can look it up uh, we only have so much time here so <laughs> thank you for allowing me to give you this intuitive message be well, do what you will with it, entertainment purposes only, and I look forward to seeing you if you would like a custom personal reading on TonyBumbody.com if you want to dwell, to dwell, <laughs> delve or dive deeper into uh, this subject or other subjects you have a question about. Take care.